Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we've got Rocco Simic. Now before we get started of course leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes and of course like and subscribe so you don't miss out on those players as well when they get uploaded. But Rocco Simic, a striker at the well-renowned Red Bull Salzburg uh, Academy, uh, a very good player, Croatian, a striker. I've had him in a couple of saves and he's been half decent for me, that's for sure. Um, possibly the next Sesco, the next Haaland, the next Adeyemi, we'll have to see in real life. But certainly looks a pretty decent player as is. Six foot two, so a big guy as well. Let's take a look at his attributes before we jump ahead. Um, you can see 108 current ability, so half decent already, but 157 potential shows a very, very good standing in that regard uh, and looks a very promising player. So what we can do then is jump ahead, take a look at how he gets on uh, and how he develops. And here we are then, 10 years on, 27 years old now and has made two appearances for Croatia. Uh, probably would have liked to have had a few more actually. Um, some decent jumping reach and natural fitness, so he'll be around for a little while. Um, he's got a decent ability in the air, but nothing substantial. Can play either side now as well as up front, um, so a bit of versatility as well. Currently playing for Slavan Bratislava, um, so interesting side to be playing for in Slovakia uh, but we can see here obviously he made his move from Lokomotiva to Salzburg initially for 3.4 million pounds uh, made a few appearances for Lifering before a 8 million pound move to Arsenal in the Premier League um, where he only made two appearances in his four seasons there wasn't loaned out nothing like that uh, before a free move to Slav Slovan Prostislava uh, in Slovakia where he did get more game time and he started to pick up some form 17 goals in in the previous season before this one and 11 goals this year so he's improved and getting better as the seasons go on I think that time at Arsenal probably hindered him quite a bit though um, looking at milestones though we can see uh, Slovak first division champions and FA Cup winners with Slovan Bratislava so that's quite nice to see uh, otherwise nothing really to note um, with regards to his contribution you can see team of the weeks div division top goal scorer uh best 11s i mean look how many team of the weeks he's got there he's in the slovak team of the year as well um so certainly a big contributor at Slo slovan bratislava uh, and seen as that as well um so a little bit disappointed in his um technicals i have to say would have been nice to see them a little bit better but maybe he hasn't really been given that opportunity you can see 40 goals and 101 appearances for Slovan Bratislava isn't actually too bad, um, but looking at the other teams he's played for, he's been a bit more limited. Looking at his attributes, though, before we go, we can see he's got nowhere near his potential, and I think that's because of the Arsenal period where he didn't get any game time for four years at a elite level. 119 current ability, 157 potential, way, way off 30, or over 30 points off of that. Um, so a little bit disappointing, but I'm sure you could make him a lot, lot better uh, and, and contribute a lot more. You can see he has got something about him uh, being able to do it for in Slovakia, uh, but hopefully he might have been able to do it in one of the bigger leagues in Europe. But with that, we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and of course, leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. And I'll catch you in the next one.